Jan, this is your Heat and Bond Light, L-I-T-E. This is what you want to look for. Joanne's no longer carries this. But I have ordered online a new package for 10 bucks from Amazon, and it's five and a half yards, and it'll last forever. So, I'm going to trace the B for you and show you exactly how it works. Here is a piece of heat and bond. This is the paper side, and this shiny part is the glue side. So you're going to set the glue side down on your pattern. And this, you can see very, very clearly right through the paper. You're going to trace this exactly, or pretty close. And it's easier to do it in short strokes than to try to go all one, all one time because you tend to get too far off the line. So it's like you were sketching. Okay, there's the outside. Now you have to trace the inner because we're going to cut those circles out. So you've got to... Your scissors, you'll be cutting. Okay, there is your B. So what we're going to do now is trim it up. So you have a little, you can see where there's a little overrun on it. And you're going to put the glue side on the wrong side of your fabric. Here's the wrong side of your fabric, and here's the glue side of your heat and bond. You lay that down. You don't run your iron back and forth. You just hold it for just a couple of seconds. Okay. Now, you're going to take a pair of scissors that you don't mind using on a little bit of paper and fabric. Now is when we're going to actually take it down to the proper... Now you cut it right to where you want it to be. You never close the tip on your fabric. You keep, you move your fabric around Because if you close the tip on it, you're going to get off cut and you will never, believe me, never, and anybody will tell you this, never get back online. You can take your scissors off, but you cannot close that tip on what you're doing. But can you see how I'm basically, when I get to a corner, I turn my fabric, I do not... Turn my my scissors. Okay, now we're going to cut out. So you want to make a little entrance. And we're going to cut the inner circle of the bee out exactly on the line. I have a little rough spot there, so I'm just going to nip that. Go to your next piece and make a hole however you want to. It doesn't really matter. Do the same thing. I'm coming over to my line. And I'm going to turn the letter. I'm not going to try to accommodate the fabric to the scissors. But the scissors... to the fabric. 
You can't make a mistake because now you've got really tight glue seams So when you want to iron this onto a piece of fabric, you have to tear your paper off and you press it lightly. That's why we use the light on most everything because the medium to heavy, there's just too much glue on your, on your fabric. So now I've got, there's your B. And here are some of my other pieces. Let me move all this out. These are all my cut pieces, and here's my B and my O, here's my here's my kitty cat, here's October. Here's the 13th, and I did one pumpkin out of the orange, and here is, here is one of my candy corns, and you make a full-sized underlying, which is your, your, um, no, I take that back. I had to figure this out the best way to do it. I took a strip of this white and a strip of this yellow and laid it down and took my traced out piece of Durabond and put it on there so it, it didn't join overlapping, but it's real close because then you're going to put the middle, the orange right over that, and there's your candy corn. Here is my mouth. Then I've got the, my big pumpkin. I had this fabric. So there's basically most of my pieces. And that should kind of help you, honey. You can't make a mistake in the cutting, believe me. Here's my mouth. And look at the cat. I mean, it's remember, you're going to be sewing over this, too, to secure it. So nothing will show that would be abnormal. You see, October even is done in... I know you're not going to have to be afraid of all that. So then I will show you, here is my, here is my pillow cover that I will be placing everything on. And you can see where I have used the witchy. in the borders. And when I quilted it, I just, this is double uh, cross hatched here, very simple. And then this is just squiggly and you can just take a, make a little sandwich out of scrap and practice. And that's on your, your free motion. That's it. Well, you got 10 minutes here. If you want to keep going. No, I'm done for this part. Okay. If there's anything else you need to explain, let me know. Signing off. Signing off. I love you.